What's up, everybody? This is your stream, Mr. Steven, and my pronouns are he, him, and his, and welcome to the Steven Factor. Season 14 continues, and tonight's episode, I'm going to do something a little different. Now, just want to let you know, um, for the first time, I had to do the rules, and this is the rules that people really understand and don't understand. I'm going to do it to reviewing the foods and even your neighborhood bars near you. And also I had to grade them from scale from the letter A through F. Alright? The letters A through F. So you have to keep that in mind that I'm definitely going to say it. And also it depends how the average, how I really feel about it and how I'm going to experience about it. On this tonight's episode, I'm going to review the bitter end. Now, just want to let you know this. I already reviewed with the Krabby Patty. It's an A plus for the Krabby Patty. Uh, B plus for um, all night skates and no roller skates required. But the question is, what tonight's grade will be? of the bitter end I'm going to experience it first but first I'm going to tell you about the history now in the year in 1961 the late Paul Gobley have a vision that he's going to do it just like the next Apollo theater in Harlem so he decided trying to create the bitter end. And this is for where all young people before they were stars, movie stars, comedians, singers, dancers, you name them and they got them. And there's so many celebrities are participating in this legendary bar from the greats. Bill, Woody Allen, Billy Crystal, Bob Dylan, James Taylor, Joni Mitchell, Neil Diamond, the late Marvin Gaye, the late George Carlin, uh, who was a former host of Saturday Night Live and, and Mr. Conductor of the, uh, the PBS um, hit series, The Shiny Time Station. And, and and so much more. And, and let's be honest with you. Um, when I went inside, this bar is so legendary. It was so completely amazing. And, um, and all the pictures uh, were hang up there for a very special memories. And also, um, I will... Trying to say, I, I saw a, 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 a tribute video at the end. Uh, I, I saw the tribute video on YouTube, but I had to wait until the end. So um, you just have to bear with me here. So this is, um, I, I have a very, um, this is a, um, whatchamacallit. Um, let me tell you about the experience that I have. So this is the first time I went to the bitter end, but before that, um, my friend decided trying to do a show again, and um, and this has become a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, I decided I really don't want it to go, and but and my well, my friend said to me, uh, she wanted me to put me on the list, and I I don't know what I'm gonna do, what I'm say uh i mean uh there's nothing to do around here uh, around this house and um i really don't know i have to say this because my living room is constructed under construction at the moment but during the next day which is 24 hours later um uh, i tell her put me on the list and um i think I want to see this a legendary bar was it look like so um everything is all set so went to 
The bitter end has been located at 147 Bleecker Street. And let's be honest. That bitter end is legendary. When I went inside, the guy gave me a nice ticket tag around my waist. And um, I decided trying to go to the bathroom. But speaking of the bathroom, when I opened the door... You have to be careful what you step in that gap, okay? Because that shit will gonna hurt your ankle, okay? And um, there's so many graffitis and stickers and, st and stuff. Just like the old vibes, to be honest with you. So, um, <clears throat> um, I went back out and um, I decided to try to sit somewhere between at the res um of the reserved section on the seat and I wanna know um which seat that I should probably be taking. But this woman by the way she wanted me to sit right on the side, you know, where the table is at. But I just wanna see um spend some time with her folks, um her family by the way um, and, uh, everything's gonna be okay. So, um, anyways, I'm still waiting for them. And the show starts around, like, after 8 o'clock. Um, yet, yeah, her folks showed up. Um, her girlfriend showed up. Uh, we, we have a wonderful conversation for the next, like, 5 uh, to 6 minutes. Or maybe nearly 7, I think. But I suggest that, um... I think the last conversation was completely okay, but I've been sitting here all by myself as well, which is not that, not fair. But let me tell you reasons why, when I just said that. On the bitter end, they had to do tickets, okay? You, I went to the website, there's so many events, you had to click tickets, and you had to pick any seat which you like. It could be on the front or the bar seat. It depends how much it could be priced. From 10 to 15 to $30. And that shit is very, very expensive. And it, 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 it was very disappointed because I thought it was for free. But I knew that in my mind it was like, you know, back in the days. Um, they, they not to, to sell tickets. They just come in and, and, and have fun. Um, you know, they, they, they always want to have fun. And, you know, and I just realized, I don't know what's really happening at the moment, but I suggest that things are not completely expected, but unexpected. Um, so anyways, yeah, you had to purchase a ticket before you went in and they put some reserved seats so you, they could definitely find a spot. But... If you on a list and they put you on the rest of the seat, they want you to sit on the back, which is um, completely unacceptable. And like I said, I want to spend some time with my folks, my 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 um <laughs> uh, her folks, by the way. And I want to, you know, try to be social and. Spent some time with them before I head back to Brooklyn. So it was very disappointed, to be honest with you. Um, so anyways, the beverages were completely required. And also, um, I asked a woman about, um, about can I order a seltzer? And I want, I am telling her how much is it. So she said, if you get a glass of seltzer, 
it cost five dollars she said five dollars and I was like wow five dollars and that was complete completely expensive to be honest with you this is even worse than the all night skates if you get a small glass of seltzer for three forty for four dollars and um, if you get a tall glass cost three forty nine which is doesn't make any sense um, whatsoever so I just ordered a little seltzer and yeah it, it was good by the way but the, the five dollar one was not exactly that I have in mind so anyways um, like I said people are sitting in the ref seats I was sitting in the back with no ref cert rest served um <laughs> i i always want to do this for free i mean i i am a free guy but there's only one vert that i'm very concerned about the bitter end and it's all about the generations so like i said the the bar is legendary but also there's group of the young folks and the old folks and yes all the old folks are coming in and it feels like you're in a retirement home um yeah it was pretty not the atmosphere that i really don't like so far and yeah it was kind of weak that it is not the same what it used to be and I knew that this bar was completely disappointed so it is nine o'clock I got up and left just like that and it was completely stupid and it was a wrong thing to do. And, and I already did the right thing because sun is throwing these atmosphere, something's going on in this bar. But what's the problem about this bar? Here's my answer it's not the same whatsoever. There's no Lady Gaga. There's no Billy Crystal, there's no Woody Allen, or Jimi Hendrix, or Marvin Gaye, or Neil Diamond, James Taylor, Bob Dylan. It's not the same. Let's just say that a new generation will pop in will participating at this time and I knew it in my mind it was like nope it, it will never gonna happen now when I mentioned it when I watched that tribute video when Paul Colby again have a vision and he recently passed away on 2014 at the age of in the mid 90s um, when I watch the tribute video you see so many greats and even the bitter end bar was so extended you see all these group of people from top to bottom and and it was pretty amazing to be honest and um, I really don't know why because again they purchase the tickets in the nowadays but what about back in the days are they do this for free during the back in the days it could be a yes or it could be a no or it could be in be in be um, in between you know in between but I just realized that
that this bar w w was a natural treasure during the back in the days. People wanted to come in and have fun, have a very special talent and their wonderful creativity. But during the nowadays bitter end, it was completely not the same. And it really hurts for me, but really hurts for everyone. And even if you want to put put somebody on a list for free, how how about this? Ask your friend to give a wonderful seat. Or treat a friend to save you a seat. Like, I could send you a Cash App or a Zelle. Or he or she could say, don't you worry, man. I'll pay the ticket for you and I could save your seat. And yes, it is completely complicated. But the next time, if you have a friend who's been trusted... He or she will have you back. So, here's the grade for The Bitter End. I have to give The Bitter End a C-. minus. And that's it. If you learn more about this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to see my latest videos. And also a like button as well. Um, this is your stream, Mr. Steam is saying... Dolo by la familia and thank you for watching the Steven Factor. One love. Peace.